communities of Moville and Greencastle have been tirelessly campaigning for a wastewater treatment plant for over 30 years. Currently, domestic and commercial wastewater is flowing directly into Loch Foyle from multiple outfall points in Moville and Greencastle. Irish Water have put forward a proposal to build a wastewater treatment plant in Carnegav, in between the two towns. The proposal would see wastewater pumped from Moville to the plant, treated and discharged into Loch Foyle. However, their proposal is flawed for many reasons. Firstly, the proposal excludes Greencastle completely, along with up to 15 housing estates in Moville, with no indication of if or when they will ever be included. Secondly, the outfall from the plant will still flow directly into Loch Foyle, along the scenic shore walk and the bathing beaches. In the event of a plant breakdown, which is a common occurrence as seen at Ring's End earlier this year, raw, untreated sewage would be pumped into this area and wash up along the shoreline between Redcastle and Kinnigo Bay. The solution, which was unanimously agreed to by 12 county councillors back in 1990, is to build the plant north of Greencastle and pump into the open sea. So Irish Water inherited this mess really from Donegal County Council and what they have done, which is incredible to me, has proposed exactly, pretty much exactly the same scheme uh, as has been so controversial for all of these years. Uh, it's literally the definition of insanity by Einstein. It's basically repeating the same practice again and again and again and expecting a different outcome. This is Loch Foyle we're talking about here. This lock behind us is a very, very special place to us. And it's, it's particularly important to the town of Moville because of uh, what it provides, provides for tourism, for leisure activity, for I'm a rower myself, I do some kayaking, and the proposed pipe discharge is directly in the path of where our kayakers go, where uh, swimmers will go. When this pipe goes in, uh, as is proposed, if they propose to put that pipe in, basically what's going to happen is that pipe is going to be there forever. Uh, there is a huge fear, and a very understandable fear, that you could have raw sewage washing back up at the coastal walk uh, because of the tidal flows at that point of outflow uh, at Carnegie Beach. The tides wash back in again and that is a real danger that's there. We need a sewage scheme for Moville. Everybody agrees that and for Greencastle. Everybody agrees that. But what we need is one that works and is not a threat to public safety and going north of Greencastle is the way to proceed. When the discharge goes into the water there it will go up the foil, it'll come down the foil, it'll go up the foil again. And the major attraction for this area is the Schleene Schlauncha pathway that we're standing on here, which is a designated area by Donegal County Council themselves, so that people can go and enjoy the environment that we have along the shore here with all its heritage houses. And yet the uh, proposal is to basically to threaten the future uh, and the environment of this particular beautiful lo location which is so important to the people of Moville. In 1989, Donegal County Council launched a planning application to build a wastewater treatment plant at this location between Moville and Greencastle. Concern grew among the local community and a meeting was held in St Eugene's Hall. What impressed me at the time was that the three doctors living in the town, Dr. Terence Baird, who was the chief medical officer for Northern Ireland, got to the floor and was indignant and was very passionate that this should not happen, that the sewerage should not go out into Loch Foyle. The other two GPs, uh, Dr. O'Flaherty was still working, uh, was very adamant in his opposition to the scheme and followed by that Dr Magner. Following the meeting, Donegal County Council voted unanimously to build the plant north of Greencastle with outfall outside Loch Foyle. But in 1995, an unexplained decision was made to relocate back inside the Foyle estuary. For 10 years, 
Up to 18 sites were considered for the plant, but all of which were rejected. Then, in 2005, a new site in Karnagarv was chosen, less than only 500 metres from the original location. 2006. Consultants for Donegal County Council produce a detailed map indicating the dispersal of raw sewage in the event of an emergency discharge. High levels of faecal coli per 100 mils of effluent will hug the shoreline across East Inishowen. A complete and total environmental disaster waiting to happen. The map is mysteriously excluded from the 2008 Environmental Impact Statement. In 2013, the High Court granted permission for the plant to proceed. However, in 2016, the European Commission made a formal complaint against the Irish government for the improper application of environmental legislation. This would see the Irish government being taken to the European Court of Justice in Luxembourg. In fact, they admitted their guilt and rectified the defective legislation in the Doyle. Since the very beginning of my time as an MEP back in 2004, I remember I was contacted by Community for a Clean Estuary. And I suppose the, the nub of the matter was this, that there was a judgment by the Court of Justice. It's called the C50 on Iton case against Ireland. Uh, where Ireland did not apply the, the environmental legislation properly, to put it as simply as I can. And subsequent to that, the Irish government assured the Commission they had applied it properly, but of course they hadn't. And when planning was granted for uh, the Carnegie Station, it was based on flawed legislation. And it took the European Commission, finally, after years and years and years, and I'm talking about 10, 15 years here, before the actual truth came out and that the people who fought this case were 100% vindicated. If somebody sat down and looked at the amount of money that was spent, first of all, defending this case, secondly, in putting this whole planning together over years and years and years, knowing it was flawed, knowing it wasn't based on proper legislation. I don't know, who's responsible for this? How can it have happened? Despite this significant finding, Irish Water, who are now in control of Ireland's water network, have proposed to build the wastewater treatment plant in the exact same location. They claim Irish Water owns and is responsible for some of the wastewater assets in Greencastle, which are authorised by the Environmental Protection Agency. At present, there is no requirement to upgrade these assets. However, upon investigating by local councillor Albert Doherty, the wastewater assets are nothing more than a septic tank. They claim that because so much untreated sewage is already running into the foil, their proposal would clean up the waters surrounding the area, yet have failed to publicly mention that raw, untreated effluent would be pumped up to three times during the summer bathing season. At the other side of Loch Foyle is McGilligan, County Derry, in Northern Ireland. In the year 2012, a plan for wastewater treatment plant was made for their community with the treated effluent discharging outside the Foyle estuary, protecting the local environment and the nearby blue flag beaches. In 2015, the plant was completely and fully operational. You know, what Irish Water need to do at this stage now, before they go spending even more of our public money, uh, is they need to listen to the wisdom of the local community that's been built up over decades. They need to engage respectfully with the local community and they need to take the outflow pipe north of Greencastle, uh, out into open sea. Surely at this stage, they must realise, if it wasn't acceptable back then, why will it be acceptable now? Moville 
needs a sewage treatment system. And that's what people want. But equally, they want to make sure that whatever system is put in place works, that it doesn't damage the environment. It's as simple as that. And in order to achieve that, you must abide by the legislation. It's not rocket science. Here we are now in the year 2019, 30 wasted years. We can't have any more wasted years. No, cop themselves on, see that they need to put an outflow pipe north of Greencastle uh, and don't risk this flow back on to beaches here. When that happens, the whole community will welcome it. And that's what we want. This time they need to listen. The Community for a Clean Estuary is determined to provide our community in Moville and Greencastle with the true facts regarding Irish Water's proposed plant. We will continue to fight for a state-of-the-art sewage treatment plant which is urgently needed to meet the requirements of Moville and Greencastle. We as citizens have a human right to be provided with a plant that will meet those needs and will not pose a threat to our health our precious and beautiful local environment and our growing economy, which is ever more dependent on tourism for growth. Donegal County Councillors in 1990 unanimously decided to locate the plant north of Greencastle with the outflow pipe into the open sea. We simply request that Irish Water respect this decision. The people of Moville and Greencastle deserve better.